Australia. It's February the 6th, which means that there's... <laughs> Alex thought it would be interesting if I talked you through his bike, because apparently there's quite a big difference between his bike and my bike, and obviously I did a bike review of my own bike when I first got it. This is the 2019 um, Katusha Canyon Red Devil, so they're all ready to go on it. Um, so I thought it'd be fun if we just did a bit, of a bit of a chat through and talk about some of these new exciting things that have just dropped for February the 6th. So obviously we've got two fantastic uh, wheels, which again I'm like, okay, I'm sort of seeing my bike, Alex's bike, basically the same thing. They go round on a road, take the back wheel off, attach it to a stationary thing and it doesn't go round, it just keeps you, keeps you stagnant. These are discs and this I think is a new feature. Um, discs are great because if you get angry uh, in a race or, or whatever, you can just um, pull them off and use them like frisbees to slice and dice your enemies. So, they're pretty cool, they're new. We have here the power stick. So this is actually quite an interesting stick, um, slightly different to mine, whereby the power outputs that are going through Alex's legs as he's making circular motions um, are all measured through this, which I like to sort of call like the vein to the brain. So all of that information gets passed through and then And then we've got the brain just in here. So this is like its own little human. So this bad boy just measures everything. It's almost like an electronic tag. But everything in these veins to the brain sends a message to, well, you know, usually there's something clipped on here and that tells you everything that you need to know with all the numbers all the jazzy figures, so you know, any time he comes home and he's like, look at the numbers, look at my, my watt outage and my, you know, my cadences, and I'm like, yep, that's great, there's a lot of numbers on that screen, but they all come from that brain. Now, I was taught that this is actually called the cassette, which is ridiculous because it looks nothing like a cassette. I would put it more as a CD player or a stack of CDs for the Metal Mountain. Now, this has got more gears than mine, so we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe 12. Uh, but again, a serious flaw in this wizardry piece of machinery. How do you know what gear you're in? Look, it's just, there's nothing. It's all covered up. So when you're out, when you're out there clicking through, how do you know which gear you're in? Are you like, I'm in a 7? I'm in a 12? I'm going up a mountain. I, I, you know, I should be in a 3, but I don't know what I'm in comes with a light, which is great, you know, safety first, a little bit of a snack bag, great when you're riding with me. This is, looks like the world's most useless mud guard, look how high up it is. I mean mud flick, I don't know what that's going to do. Saddle. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Saddle. So this is a man saddle. And what's different about the man saddle is that you've got this little hole here. Now, don't be deceived because it's for your gooch. So your gooch can kind of hang in it and be comfy. So it's like a little cushion. So I don't really know what he's complaining about. It goes off and that he's got the worst office seat in the world, but yeah, it looks pretty comfy to me. So there's all sorts. Oh, again, another useless mud guard. I mean, I don't know what that's protecting. Wouldn't this bar protect you if there's gonna be mud coming up here? Also, oh fuck, I've got no idea what this is. Um, I mean, look, looks like the disc. And you've got your trusty little handles for when it's, oh god, well that's going to be hard. So you can pop it when it's hot. It's okay. Those are lots of little names down the side. Well, here's the one big floor. Doesn't have his name anywhere on it, does it? 
So, might claim this is my own. Now, credit where credit's due. And kudos to Canyon, because this is called the ultimate CF SLX. Now, I've, I mean, I'd like to say I've done some research, but that stands for the ultimate carbon footprint, I think, because, hey, you're on a bike. When you're not on a bike, you're not on a car or a bus, so your carbon footprint's being improved. And finally, one of the last things that I thought would be a huge difference between my bike and this bike is normally when Alex is riding, he's all about what I like to call the praying position. He's on his elbows and he's in pain. But um, normally he's got these little comfort sticks. I feel like that might be the one adjustment that he'd probably want to the bike. But other than that, it's a pretty solid ride. And I think I would like to try out me sitting on the handlebars, Alex riding, and a little saddlebag for Albert. So, you know, watch this space. Dreams do come true. You're such a good bike rider.